My channel on TikTok got permanently banned. I had over 26,000 followers. I put a lot of time into that channel. This is why YouTube is so much better than TikTok. YouTube, you feel like if there was a discrepancy, you could actually talk to a person. TikTok, if enough people complain about your channel just because they want to troll you, TikTok just bans you. The reason that I got banned, I started out my journey of becoming a content creator. I had the idea that I was gonna do this epic triple challenge. I was gonna do a 21 day fast, I was gonna run a marathon, and I was gonna bench press my lifetime max of 405, and I wanted to do it all in one year. I had it in my head that if I could accomplish these three things, by the end of the year, I would go viral, and that would kind of launch my content creator career. Well, that didn't actually happen at all. You know, like by the end of that year, I was able to get a thousand followers and get monetized, but I wasn't actually able to make money. Being monetized is one thing, but making more than $10 a month is a whole nother ball game. On, you know, and this is YouTube I'm talking about. The problem is TikTok does not like fasting videos. Any fasting videos you post on TikTok, if somebody complains about them, they just ban them. At first, when I first posted my videos, my channel was small. Nobody complained about my videos. Once I had my first viral video on TikTok, it got like a million views. People complained about my other fasting videos as well as that fasting video, and they banned like four videos of mine right at the same time. And I found that if I put a disclaimer explaining that I fast, not just to lose weight quickly. The purpose of my fast is something I do once every year or once every few years to test my willpower, to try to get more out of myself. When I put that warning on my TikTok videos, TikTok actually would reinstate the videos. They'd still pull them down when somebody complained, but they would review it after I appealed and reinstate it. And that happened to like three or four videos. And so I just stopped posting all fasting videos on TikTok. Five months ago, I posted a video about my three challenges. One third of the beginning of the video included that I did a 21 day fast. And then the rest of it was about the marathon, the bench press. That video got pulled down and that put me over the limit of violations and TikTok banned my channel permanently. So then I appealed the permanent ban and they said they would review it in seven days and email me. They never responded. I never got an email. They just banned me. They, they didn't even email me back and say your appeal has been denied. One of the things I try to do is look at the positive aspect. You know, I've never made a dime off TikTok. YouTube has paid me over a thousand dollars. YouTube pays me like $70 a month for the last couple of years. I had one viral video on YouTube, a viral short, and I got $200. If I had took all the time I spent on TikTok and put it onto YouTube, it would have been much more profitable for me. I understand why some people are offended by videos about fasting. If you're looking at it as a way to lose weight quickly, if that is your goal, fasting is not the answer. Just fasting to lose weight will not solve your problem. Once you lose the weight, you're just gonna gain it all back when you go back to your old lifestyle. Fasting was so much more than that. Fasting can unlock the secret to learning how to control your appetite. Fasting can give you the keys to the kingdom. If all you're concerned about is that one-time weight loss, that's so trivial in the big picture. The thing that, that I got from fasting that stuck with me was the realization that I could literally do anything that I put my mind to, no matter how difficult. In all of my fasting videos, I try to convey that message. Now, don't get me wrong, the weight loss was a bonus. That was a stressful thing I had to deal with with my current efforts of trying to become a content creator. That's a wrap.